hello friends welcome back to another episode of cat cam station and today in this video tutorial i'm going to show you that how you can design this ring spanner by using an x12 and i'm going to make this video tutorial as simple as possible so that the beginners can follow this video tutorial along so without wasting any time let's get started so as you can see we are inside the drawing area and we are now going to start with selecting plane on which we are going to start drawing so click on sketch and uh, in this case i'm gonna select this horizontal vertical plane okay y x plane so select it and then click ok so now you can see that the plane is normal to your face now you can click o on your keyboard and select the circle and draw the circle with a diameter 13 millimeter and uh, again you have to draw another diameter of circle uh, 18 millimeter of circle L let me just draw 18 millimeter like this so as we can see that it is not uh, in horizontal with this circle so select the center of this circle and the center of this circle and make them horizontal double click the dimension and uh, enter the distance 120 millimeter and exit so as you can see here so now is the time to create a center line I'm gonna select line or you can hit L on your keyboard and join these two centers of the circle i'm gonna convert it into reference line like this again hit l on your keyboard or select the line and draw a horizontal line like this and on the other side of this center line so i'm gonna make these two lines symmetric along this center line so in order to do that go to more and select make symmetric under the primary object select these two lines and symmetric along the center line so as you can see it is symmetric on both the side hit D on your keyboard and select these two line and enter the value 7 millimeter like this hit D on your keyboard and trim out the lines and arc which we not need like this now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create an arc on these joints okay so to do that you can hit f on your keyboard and select the fillet from over here and uh, now what we need is to enter the fillet radius equals to seven millimeter and select the two lines and arc okay like this now there is uh, again we're gonna apply the fillet but with a different radius which is equals to 9 millimeter and select these two lines like this so far so good now it starts look like a spanner but it is not so another thing we're gonna do is select the line i'm gonna start from a center drawing a line drawing a line on an angle so first uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make it a reference line like this now as you can see here there is a degree given so I'm gonna fix this dimension or angle which is going to be a 15 millimeter like this and closing it so far so good so again you can hit O on your keyboard and select the circle draw the circle of diameter 10 or radius 5 like this hit D on your keyboard to activate the small dimension and select the two lines and give them a distance which is going to be 3.92 millimeter like this so far so good again I'm gonna draw two lines at an angle and which is also parallel to the center line at an angle so again i'm gonna make them symmetric 
so like this so it is symmetric hit D on your keyboard and give them a dimension or distance which is equals to 8.5 millimeter drag it all the way up to here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to so it is symmetric so I guess this is making some difference like this okay so it is making it tangent control Z Z like this so we don't need tangent constraint at all so I'm gonna delete this okay so far so good hit T on your keyboard and trim out the lines which are which are not required like this okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to move these points just to make sure that the points are fixed okay so these are these points are fixed so I'm gonna uh, make a radius over here in order to do that hit F on your keyboard or select fillet command and uh, enter the uh, radius of 2 millimeter and make a radius over here like this so far so good and uh, last thing in the sketch mod we're gonna make a ring spanner main feature so to do that drag click on here and select the polygon specify the center point like here you can leave it as it is but this polygon is rotating and changing its dimension continuously to make it fixes select the corner and the center and make them horizontal hit D on your keyboard and select the across corner distance which is equals to 10.15 millimeter now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the whole polygon by the angle of 90 degree to do that you can go here select this pattern curve under the pattern curve make sure um, pattern definition you should select circular not linear select the circular under the curve select the line it will automatically select the whole polygon as you can see here specify the center so here is the center make sure your count is to set to 2 and pitch angle to 90 degrees and click OK so this is it for now so now is the time to extrude it hit X on your keyboard or click on over here make sure your start value is set to symmetric and uh, I'm gonna extrude it 3 millimeter overall thickness of this spanner is going to be 3 millimeters so 3 divided by 2 and click OK now as you can see control plus W hide the sketches so far so good so now is the time to create a another feature on this side so let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm going to create a feature this to do that I'm gonna select the central plane select the sketch select the central plane and click OK okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert the entity so to do that go to project curves select the curve like this okay and click OK now what other command I'm gonna use is offset I'm gonna offset these sketch so select the curve line so you can change the direction because we need it on the other side like this after doing this you can click OK zooming in 
so far so good now hit t on your keyboard and trim out the arc this one and this one as well and this line just to make sure that you are having the close loop if you want to extrude it so hit x on your keyboard or click extrude make sure your star value is set to symmetric the overall thickness is going to be 3.7 divided by 2 and make sure you're set to unite click ok Control plus W and hide the sketches. Now it looked like a spanner. So what other feature we are going to draw over here is this slot cut feature on both the sides. And after that, we're going to apply the fillet command. Now is the time to do the slot feature here. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is I'm going to select the sketch, select the face and click OK. So hit O on your keyboard or select the circle. I'm going to draw the circle of uh, diameter 2.97. It is going, it is making tangent. We don't need the tangent feature. So make sure you, let me just delete this one first. And uh, I'm going to again draw the circle diameter 2.97 okay so I'm gonna make the center of this circle and this circle and this big circle horizontal so make sure you select the center of each circle and select the horizontal constraint so hit D on your keyboard and give them a dimension center to center which is going to be 92.5 and also give the dimension from the center of this circle to the this circle equals to 12.5 like this now hit L on your keyboard or select the line start from its edge and make sure it is tangent and make it tangent on the other side like this again hit L on your keyboard or start from its edge and then select the other edge like this you are noticing that the dimension is in red color don't worry because we have two circles of same diameter mentioning so you can delete one dimension like this now the problem is solved hit t on your keyboard and trim out the inner arc like this so far so good now let me see if it is moving or f okay so these lines are completely fixed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude cutting it I'm gonna change its direction under the direction tab so the depth is 0.3 and uh, the end distance is going to point three. Unite to subtract and click OK. Now, as you can see, we have extrude cut feature. Control plus W and hide the sketches. So what other command I'm going to use is the mirror command. So what I want is to mirror this slot feature on the other side of this spanner. So to do that, what I'm going to do is click on to more and select the mirror feature so feature is this and the plane is going to be the mid plane this one so let me just zoom out let me okay so here you can see that the gray box that means the mirror feature is successful you can click ok there you go so now is the time to apply some fillet or edge blends so select this and uh, enter the radius of 0 0.75 and just select the edges like this and click apply now as you can see the fillet is applied successfully so 
what other thing so here is a uh, change the fillet 0 0.2 and apply the fillet to these edges as well like this select this one select this one and click apply so far so good again select this edge select this edge again select this edge rotate it select this edge apply select the inner edge and this inner edge apply so just make sure that you applied fillet everywhere so far so good so the fillet is successfully applied uh, one more region is left this this one so we need to apply the fillet on this side as well select each line So now you can see that we have successfully created the spanner or ring spanner. Control plus W and hide the plane. So Control Alt F to make it front on your side. So guys, this is it or this is how you can design a ring spanner inside nx12 and uh, this is i guess very easy way to design a ring spanner and you can design lots of other sizes as well just by knowing the size of your bolt or not so i hope you found this video tutorial very helpful and uh, if you like this video so make sure you hit the like button subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and also leave your valuable feedbacks into the comment section so that uh, i can respond to your comments or give more uh, valuable tutorials which helps you in your future so this is it guys uh, you are watching a cad cam station signing out for now